So you've been wanting to buy a house, but there's been multiple offers, way over asking, construction delays, and now rising interest rates. Is now a good time to buy? Well, we're gonna answer that question, hopefully for you, right now. But before we do, um, if this is your first time on our channel, we are a local real estate agents specializing in all things Texas real estate. So if that is of interest to you, make sure you hit that subscribe button, that bell, so you're alerted every time we do a video. And don't forget to give us a call, text, or email, whatever you got to do to get a hold of us, just get a hold of us. All right, so Let's like Patrice was saying, started. <laughs> like Patrice was saying, we're sitting here in July of 2022, and if you have been in the market for the last couple years since this whole COVID thing, then God bless you. It's been rough. It's been rough, man. <laughs> I, I swear, it's. I, I feel like every Zoom that we have with our buyer consultations, we always say, hey, at the end of the day, you're going to end up looking like Rocky. Oh, hey, you. You right at the end of a Rocky movie. You're just going to be all bloody and everything else. It's just part par for the course here in the Dallas real estate market. Not literally, but figuratively. But right now, is, is right now a good time, right? So you've suffered through mm -hmm. all that stuff. We were in multiple offers. We were up competing 70, 80 offers at one point. Um, 10, 20, 50, 100,000. We lost out on mm -hmm. a deal in Frisco, Texas, $400,000 over this price. Are you kidding me? Crazy. Yeah. So if that's not bad enough, now all of a sudden you're finally ready to go and interest rates have essentially doubled yeah. in the last couple months. Mm -hmm. So what does that do? Is right now a good time? Is the market going to pull back? Is it going to crash? What's going on, Patrice? I don't know. Well, Nobody really knows. No one knows. And that's the bottom line. <laughs> so anybody that sits here in front of you, if you're watching YouTube, you're Googling mm -hmm. all this stuff, you're on TikTok, whatever the case may be, and you're watching all these guys telling you the market's going to crash we're in the worst recession of the world you know the world's ever seen and, and blah 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 well guess what they know shit well and all we can do is give facts right all we could do is give you what what we're seeing in the market mm -hmm. and we're going to adjust accordingly exactly. now if you want our worthless opinion we're going to give it to you right now <laughs> and our opinion is or at least my opinion is that we're going to see a natural pullback Right? right now, what we're seeing in the market, we're seeing um, price decreases starting to climb up, right? That's sellers that are getting a little anxious. Yeah. You know, they, they went under contract. Maybe they're having, they went under contract on a new build a year and a half ago. All of a sudden, now it's time to sell. They got to pay the piper. And guess what? The market is turned, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And so they thought they were going to get, you know, $750,000 for that house. They listed it for sale, expecting multiple offers that first weekend, and it sat, yeah, and, it sat <laughs> and it sat, and it sat. So then that agent had a uh, realization, come to Jesus uh, meeting, and they reduced the price. And that's what you're starting to see. You're starting to see, this is basically a balanced normal market that we're in, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Is the market going to crash? I don't think locally here. Remember, real estate is hyper-local. So um, in Texas, we are just getting flooded. 300 people are moving here a day. Yeah, that's a lot. Just in Dallas. Mm -hmm. So the, the supply and demand just is still not where it needs to be. We have not caught up on supply. Mm -hmm. So, um, and the demand is there. Now, um, last time, everybody wants to go back to 2008. Mm -hmm. In 2008, we saw a pullback um, locally here of about 8% when nationally we were seeing things in 40s and 50%. Um, and that's really that pullback that we saw at 8% is strictly mainly because of people who are coming in with less money. Right. Right. right? Mm -hmm. uh, people from California, Washington, New York, Chicago, etc. All coming in, but coming in with less funds, a little more conservative, which is obviously going to um, affect the purchasing buying power here. Yes. Now, as interest rates climb... And guess what? They're expected to continue to climb until we get this whole inflation thing yeah. under control. It's going to impact you. So my recommendation and Patrice's recommendation <laughs> is this. Stay within your means. Yes, definitely. Don't become house poor. Yeah. Do not maximize your budget on housing. If you are in a $800,000 price range, maybe you want to look in that $700,000 price range, mm -hmm. right? right? As interest rates go up, because remember, every point that interest rates go up, you lose about 10% buying power. So we want to make sure that we have a comfortable and healthy uh, all-in monthly payment that matches your needs, right? Yeah. And then we'll and then we'll 
find the house accordingly. Mm -hmm. um, so right now, is 2022 a good time to buy? Depends on your situation. Yeah, right? Absolutely. Yeah. Just as real estate is hyper-local, so is everybody's needs. Everybody's needs are very individual. So um, if you're going here, if you're coming here, and you're, you're very familiar with any of the certain cities, fastest growing cities and all that stuff, and you want to get in, I, I would definitely get in. Because guess what? If you sit around and wait for a market to crash in Texas, I think, you, I think you've got a, a long way ahead of you. Yeah, not around here. Around here, we've got so much growth happening. Huge corporations still coming in. And, you know, things are, we're, I mean, we're expected to grow yeah. and grow. So it's only going to, you know, get better. Four out of the top five recession-proof cities in the entire United States are right here in North right. Texas. Yep. So, I mean, wh what are you going to do? Mm -hmm. um, I don't see it pulling back, not to anything that would make any sense. And remember, if you are renting for a year because you're expecting that market to crash, well, just how far does it, do you expect the market to crash? Right. Right? Because right. that's 100% interest that you're paying that rent. You're paying someone else's, you're building someone else's net worth on it. Well, and right now the rent prices are out of control. So. Multiple <laughs> offers on rent, man. Everything's, everything's yes. changed. I so. was just reading an article this morning about how crazy it is in the North Texas area for yeah. rent. And kind of makes more sense almost just to, you know, buy something a little cheaper for now and get in. And at least you're, you've are you got the equity and things yeah. like that. So. Worst case scenario, you you've know? got an investment property. That's very right? true. So, I mean, if you're if you're paying three thousand dollars a month in rent, at the end of the day, that's thirty six thousand dollars that is gone. Yeah. Right. Yeah. No tax benefits, uh, not building in, in, into your equity, um, gone. Mm -hmm. Right. So I don't see the market pulling back right now. If you, especially if you, this is your primary residence, um, and you need a roof over your head, absolutely, right now is a great time to buy. Mm -hmm. If yes. you look back and let's say interest rates keep climbing like many. Um, expect and two months from now interest rates are let's say that we're at five right now a little over five percent if they're at six and a half seven percent you're gonna look back and think oh, wow wow five percent is it back then. <laughs> yes. insane i wish mm -hmm. i could get back to those numbers so yeah. at the end of the day um it's an individual um it's an individual decision that we make in a group effort. We try to educate mm -hmm. our clients as much as possible and have these conversations. Is it worth it? I don't know. Every situation is different. I can't right. tell you how many buyers we've said, you know what, in your particular situation, why don't we hold off? Why? Well, they already had a house here, right? They're mm -hmm. local, they have mm -hmm. a house here, so the market's not gonna get out of hand on them. They are a little bit nervous about either job security. Um, you know, there, there's different mm -hmm. things that, that play a uh, part into this. Give us a call. Hit that dream home form. Let's have those conversations. It's complimentary. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It gets you in the into the game and at least get you your head thinking. I promise you, it would yeah. not be a waste of time. Mm -hmm. Until the next time, I'm Andy. And I'm Patrice. Take care.